space for Foden. Shoots. Here we go. The newly crowned champions of the world, Manchester City, are back in Premier League action at Goodison Park as we take on Everton. What an incredible night it was in Jeddah as Manchester City became champions of the world. We were the champions of the world! We now return to Premier League action as we try to make it four consecutive Premier League titles in a row. And places don't come much harder than Goodison Park. But Everton, since the point deduction, have been in inspired form. They've been one of the most informed teams in the Premier League and have hardly conceded any goals. But who will take the points today? It is a must-must win for City, who currently sit fifth in the Premier League table. If we get a win, it'll do the confidence a world of good. Make sure to like and to subscribe and let's head off to Goodison Park. The adventure starts off in Nando's and representing my Club World Cup merchandise as well. So my Nando's order, four chicken thighs, medium, got to be the medium. We've also got some mash and some garlic bread. Now I've seen some Don eat on TikTok and get millions of views and beef my mate Angry Gin. So I'm going to do it too uh, without the beefing of Angry Gin, even though City are way clear of United. Right, time to, so what I do is I get my thighs, I dip them in the mash, and let's time to give it a go. Warrington Nando's, let's see what you got for me. Spot on. Spot on. Garlic bread time. Very good. Nine out of ten so far. Okay, we are on our way down to Goodison Park. It is so, so windy here in Liverpool. I think Nunes is going to be starting. I think Rodri is going to be starting as well. Hopefully, uh, especially after his knock in the Club World Cup final. Now, Premier League form has not been the best. Please excuse the wind. Uh, so hopefully we can get some Premier League form going out of this game. We are world champions and all of the fans are going to be behind us tonight. It's going to be a great show out from Blues. But Everton, I tell you what, they've been very, very good this season. And since the point deduction especially, they've been ones to watch. Now, I can't do any more because the wind's too crazy, but let's get inside. Boom, we're in Goodison Park. Time to head to the upper tier. I'm very much looking forward to this away day. This may be one of the last times we ever come to this stadium. This is the first time I've ever done it in the away end, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. Been to Everton a fair few times. Never seen them score here. Will that change today? Hopefully, City can get the win. Unfortunately, I couldn't come uh, to the Gundogan one uh, because it was literally my best his birthday 14th of May um, but she let me watch it on telly which was lovely um, but obviously nothing beats being here and we are here this year right time to get in time to get a beer and time to enjoy hopefully City winning away well that's Everton away at its finest a support beam in the way of the piss that one won't make too much of a difference but here are our seats for the game well, I've had a look at the team. It is strong, but no Ruben Diaz is a big, big one at the back. Obviously, Johnny Stones uh, coming in. Uh, normal suspect in the back there. Ake going to play the left back, I think. And then, obviously, Rodri coming in after a bit of a knock during uh, the FIFA Club World Cup final. Uh, was a hope, was probably a big blow for this game. But he says he's OK and he's in the team, which is fantastic. Obviously, Foden, Grealish, uh, Alvarez uh, will probably lead the front three. No Doku, no Haaland uh, and no Kevin De Bruyne as well, which we will see them getting minutes but this is a massive massive game I think we'll beat Sheffield United comfortably in the next fixture so it's really important that we get three points today but Everton are no mugs especially here at Goodison Park in the shed of the away end maybe my last time here uh, especially in the away end so hopefully we can get a win to tick it off my bucket list but as we slowly get through our pints of water here at Goodison Park cheers Luke He's already getting through his. Uh, the atmosphere is definitely building up here, but it's a must, must win for City. We currently sit fifth in the Premier League table. Yes, we are the champions of the world, and it's fantastic. And I'm representing today. I've got my Club World Cup jumper from Saudi Arabia, and I'm very much excited to see us return to Premier League action. A 2-2 draw in which we fumbled it against Crystal Palace last time out. A late Elise penalty. We got a bounce back against a very good team at a very, very difficult ground to play against in Everton, and they're going to be up for it. Dwight McNeil has been in some form so far this season under Sean Dyche and their defence is always tricky to get past. I came to the Everton Man United game, I know Man United won 3 0, disappointing. I wanted Everton to win that day, but on another day, Everton could have had five in the first half. They were lucky against Tottenham and they picked up some great wins along the way as well since the point deduction. So we've really got to be concerned today and don't take anything less than three points back to the Etihad. City, I know this is usually December is where we fumble a little bit, but now we can start picking 
picking up some results, getting some form in with Doku, De Bruyne and Haaland sort of on the way back. The minute that we get that fit squad, we'll be steamrolling teams just like last year. Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Arsenal, teams just couldn't get near us last year, especially towards the run-in at the end of the season. The atmosphere is going to be great, it's going to be great to see a lot of the English fans back as well, City boys, uh, obviously we missed you all out in Jeddah, uh, we did it, we brought it home but there was no bear, but probably no bears better than this. <laughs> Terrible. But yeah, English away days are back in the shed at Goodison Park and maybe for the final time. This life is on In Liverpool, you break you play round here. Bad. Never call it in a plastic bottle again. Do you know what? <laughs> Someone have it. Oh, yeah. it. Anyway, let's get in. So I prefer it to Saudi with no drink. No drink's better than that drink. Anyway, let's get inside to build up the atmosphere. Come on, City. We need a win. Nothing but three points. Of the sirens go. The City fans sing. Here we go. This is going to be one hell of a game. Champions, they get on it, on it! The team come out to the Zen Cars Anthem here at Cuddleston Park. Creating one hell of an atmosphere like it already does. Sitter versus Everton. Here we go. Champions again! Champions again! Champions again! On it, on it! Come on, Sitter! It's something that we're doing as well. The Premier League anthem being booed by the Evertonians and Sitter from the City fans. You see Walker and there's a funny pole in the way. Come on, City! We are not, we're not really here, side fans of the Invincible Man. We're not really here. Put it up, we put it up. Here we go then, the champions of the world versus Everton. Let's have it. Come on, City! Oh, and underway here at Goodison Park. Come on, City! Let's get a massive win. Champion, champion, take it all out of The atmosphere is electric. Then Jack Greenlich, contribute. Pulls it in, lovely ball! Oh, what a save! Oh, what a block! Great champion, Sitter, great save from the oh, That was uh, brilliant. Hey, Look who's joined us! Ramsey's here! La, 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 la. The greatest team you'll ever see! final! That was very unbelievable, but a corner that Walker's gonna hit. Deflected, could have gone anywhere that. <laughs> Just into a goal. from an Everton mistake, or just gets it a little bit over. Good chance from Sitter. Oh, we don't score that. Out of the you've got a score. Should be 1-0. You could have scored that, lad. in the bank. A bit in the bank. A bit in the bank. Six going down with a bit again, a bike. Space here for Rodri. Lots of good tackle before he's about to have a crack. City are a little bit stretched there. I think Al Gomez just... Everton have not been what they have been this season so far. Just been pumping it straight back. I can't see because of this beam. This is classic Everton away. It's very good for Everton here. And it comes to Anton Gomez. Everton gets a good punch on it. And Bernardo Silva sends it away. Everton has been asking a bit of warning size since their pummels from the back. With what Sean Dice is doing, he's compacting one side of the play when City have the ball. Look at how much space Jack Grealish has got. And when he's got the ball, it'll be the same on the right-hand side. For me, that's the way to break through this defence. Oh. Oh. play here. Oh. 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 from Pitford. Oh. Nunes. Just couldn't get a shot away. Oh, Silva's cross was good to the back stick, but just no one there. City creating the chances for the lap here. Foden. In it comes. Banana Silva. Oh, this guy's it. I'll tell you what, the court is out on the right. He puts in from Medina and finish that. Great finish. Jack Harrison has had it again. It's in the final of Rodri, though, in the middle of the box. Sitting in some warm in the referee. Surely Barber going to look at it, but Whitecross great finish. Never take a pounce from more poor play on our back. Starting off, we just couldn't get the ball out. We're just so shaky at the back. When we don't lose a bit, we're in control of this game. Now we're a ball behind. Ball's given and the roar of Goodison Park. City are 1-0 down. This is a big, big problem. We need three points. We can't afford to drop any more. Just to get level. We need to take it without a silver. No free kick given for that. Cross comes in towards the back stick. Okay, to Grealish. A bit more intensity now with City's attack. They know that we've got to find a goal. Grealish gets an inch. Rodri! Big chance. Edison's just come up with a huge save to keep this up 1-0. Goodison's woken up. Everton have woken up. City just at the back. It's not good. It's just saved the goal. Better for 1-1. But what a tackle that is. 
Jack Johnstone sitting at the back were just not there. And usually something that we pride ourselves on playing brilliant football at the back just isn't there. Every time we're giving it away, and Everton are already high up the pitch, and some of the crosses coming into the box ultimately is how they scored, and they're so dangerous. Oh my god, but when we go forward, we look good, but the back's got to be sorted out. This is something that I've not seen yet. Stones in making that goal saving tackle has potentially injured himself and it was offside and it was quite clearly offside to be honest on reflection and the linesman didn't put his flag up and now a player's got injured hopefully he's okay need a goal free kick Alvarez in Tony needed a touch and it didn't get one but City have got a goal now on the line on the back at the moment but maybe in the attack we can get a goal to get us level and change the half time team top this has gone and that's going to even much more make our back four even weaker. Look at him, he can't even run. Bottom of the man over here, Everton Cross comes in. Not dealt with from Akanji, but finally dealt with from Rodri. Not being dealt with at the back this. Stones goes off. Cavario comes on. We'll have to see how this changes our back four that's already pretty vulnerable. And uh, this was an injury from an offside that never needed to happen. Kick in the first half. Gordon. We're going nowhere. Yeah. Maybe a cross in. Everton so 11 men behind the ball. Look at this. From the corner, man. From the corner, we're back at the goalkeeper. Just no intent from City at the moment. Half time then at Goodison. Not good enough so far. Story of the first half of the Premier League season for City. 1 0 to Everton at the break. All right, then half-time here at Goodison Park, and it's Everton 1, City 0. Story of the first half of the season so far, a shoddy back four, and an attack that just can't find the finishing product. Obviously, yes, we're missing Diaz, De Bruyne, Harlan, Doku, big, big players. But the players on the pitch are capable to be able to win, uh, win this football match, and unfortunately, it's not going that way. Everton's goal was poor City play at the back. We were caught out. It was Rodri. 50-50 whether it was a foul on him it was briefly checked and then smashed in uh, from Dwight McNeil with a brilliant low cross and then smashed into the back of the net from Jack Harrison lovely finish and Everton take the lead uh, from their first shot target Edison made a good save to keep the scores up 1-0 City about the chance and it was Mateo Nunes who got through one-on-one -on -one. great save from Pickford and Alvarez put the rebound wide it was a massive massive opportunity uh, to get the first goal of the game and which would have taken the tempo uh, a different way rather than the way that it's gone and that is City knocking the ball around the back losing it every time, high up the pitch and Everton taking advantage uh, and putting some really dangerous crosses in and that's ultimately how they found the goal. It's not good enough from City and John Stone's going off after a brilliant goal saving tackle on Beto but the flag went up and an offside play that carried on has injured one of our players that we're desperately needing uh, to stabilise that inconsistent back four that we've got at the moment. It's not good enough from City at the moment but I'm behind us all the way. We're going to have to turn it around like we did at Luton. We're not playing great but let's see if we can find a big performance in the second half. I'm sure Pep will be grilling them at half time. Let's get behind the boys in blue and we're win, lose or tie. We're City till we die. Biggest second halves in our season. Here we go. We need two goals, a minimum. On Jack. To the byline. And then just shots back. Now there's no room. Giovanni Al. Way too deep. Way too deep. Rodri. It's much better from centre. Bernardo. Nunes. Much better. Oh, that was nearly smashed into the old net for Chopovsky. Chopovsky now has got a brilliant goal for City. Oh, we've got a look at that. And Chopovsky's got a look at better for City. More of that, please. Turn to the box towards Walker. Back to Grealish. Blocked from the beam. He's got it to the edge of the box. Much, much better this from City. Finally, a decent move in the attack. Space for Foden. Shoots. Yeah! Blocked off by the beam. Oh, save from Pickford. A ball! A ball! A ball! A ball! A ball! Yeah! Yeah! He's finally given it. He's 
Yeah, but they don't say from one or two half more. But they're going to go live with the game. Who's going to take it though? Jeff the Vans and myself want Alvarez to take this. Penalty is confirmed. Pitford's trying to put him off. And he's going to get booked for it. I love that. Here we go. Yeah! Ten minutes to go, just come down here to have a bit of a nervous wee. We're heading back up now, flipping the next city. What a second half it's been. We've really, really turned it on. That's exactly what we needed. Are we going to hold out for a 2 1? Everton starting to throw the kitchen sink at us. I mean, maybe taking Nunes off was a bit of a bad move. He's might have killed the momentum after City got after that first goal. Kovacic coming on just for some precision in that midfield. Let's see who gets the win. Come on, City, let's see if we can win it. when he's on the ball, Bill Foden. He's just had a shot that rasped the post. It wasn't blocked by the beam, this one. That was a magic goal. That's it. What a great result that is. What a second half performance from City. Three goals, 3-1 three win. That's our boys in blue. Champions again. Champions again. Champions again. Ole, ole. Champions again. Champions again. Champions again. Ole, ole. What a performance. What a performance from Phil Foden, I do have to say. Bernardo Silva's goal was excellent. Rodri in the middle in the second half. What a performance from this group. Pep must have grilled them at half time and they came out and they were amazing. That's the city we know and love. Champions again, ole, ole. Champions again, ole, ole. Champions again, champions again. Champions again, ole, ole. What a performance, what a second half that was from Manchester City and we win by three goals to one after a bit of a dismal first half. Pep grilled them in the dressing room and we got behind the lads here in the away and the atmosphere was fantastic. Uh, an interesting away end experience but nonetheless we get the three points and that's exactly what we needed. Three goals for three points that started with a rocket from Phil Foden and then a second goal that was calmly slotted away from the spot from Julian Alvarez. Pitford got his body on it but it still went into the back of the net and that's all all that matters. The third goal was brilliant improvisation from Bernardo Silva to score a superb long shot uh, from a Jordan Pickford mistake and City get the three points in a difficult place against difficult circumstances. Everton were very, very good and in that first half we saw what they could do but they decided to come out in the second half with that high press and it's come to cost them. Instead of sitting deep, soaking up the pressure and trying to break us, they decided to high press and they ran out of steam and City pulled in three goals in that second half. Pep, you're a genius. City, we're behind you through and through. What a result. Come on! What an unbelievable manager he is. Just when you think City weren't going to do it in that first half. Oh yeah. Impact we trust. Impact we believe. And he's loving every second of it. He knows how big of a win this is. And how good of a game Phil Foden plays. So there we go, what an experience at Everton away, Goodison Park, check, we've got to win there, I can put that on my bucket list, and three massive points for the boys in blue, going in to the big title race, coming up in that second part of the season, we could not afford to drop any points today, and we did a brilliant performance in that second half, that is City at their very best, if you have enjoyed the vlog, make sure to smash the like, hit that big red subscribe button down below, and I will see you guys next time for another adventure, or a combined 11, or something, peace out from Goodison.